Hi everyone, my name is Prakash, and today we're going to be talking about another brain teaser puzzle which consists of an island containing 100 tigers and one sheep. So as you may have thought, tigers would try to eat sheep, but here's a trick. It's a magical island. If a tiger eats a sheep, they themselves become a sheep. As a result, tigers want to eat sheep, but again, they will also want to survive. So they're confused whether they should eat the sheep or not. Because like I said, if they eat the sheep, they'll become sheep themselves, and then they might be eaten up by other tigers. So let's think about this problem a little bit more deeply. So, so I would request you to first pause the video right now and think about this problem and try to do it yourself. So if you, if you have not been able to crack the problem or if you already have, that's great. Let's try to understand this with a case of just one tiger and one sheep. So in this case, it's fairly simple. Look, there's a tiger, there's a sheep and tiger would want to eat the sheep. Why? Because once, let's say, tiger eats the sheep, it becomes sheep itself. So there's one sheep, right? Now let's think about two tiger cases. Now, because the key is if you crack the two tiger case, it will become very easy. And if you can crack two tiger, then also think about three tigers and they'll, I think you'll come to the answer real quick. So again, I would like you to pause the video and see if you can solve it from here. All right, now let's talk about the two tiger case. So think about this. If let's say there are two tigers, let's say this is tiger one, this is tiger two, and this is sheep, okay? So let's say if tiger one eats sheep, then what would happen is you, you would get into the situation where there's tiger two and there is sheep, which was basically tiger one earlier. And now tiger two, now we are back in the one tiger, one sheep case, which you can see from here, and as a result, Tiger 2 would eat the sheep, and then there would just gonna be one sheep left. So that is why it's dangerous to eat the sheep in two tiger and one sheep case. Right, and the same goes for Tiger 2. So if Tiger 2 attempts to eat the sheep, again, there's Tiger 1 who will eat the remaining one sheep, which is which was basically formed after Tiger 2 ate the sheep. So in this case, the sheep won't be eaten. And like we said, in the first in one tiger, one sheep case, it would be eaten. So again, I would like you to pause for a moment and see if you can crack the three tiger, uh, one sheep case. All right, now let's talk about this one. So you have three tigers and one sheep. And now let's say any one of the tigers, let's say tiger two attempts to eat the sheep. So what happens? Now it's gonna be tiger one and tiger three and one sheep, which was basically formed from when tiger two ate the sheep. Now we're back in two tiger case and we know that the sheep would not be eaten. So in this case, it's safe for any one of these tigers to eat the sheep. Again, think about it. Even if let's say it was T1 or T3, any one of them, the first one who eats the sheep becomes the sheep and then we enter two tiger, one sheep case and that's why they would not be eaten. So in this case, yes, it would be eaten. By now, you know, you'd be able to make sense that, hey, the odd cases, the tiger has been eaten, the sheep is being eaten, but in the even cases of even, what I mean by even cases, basically the number of tigers are even, the sheep is not being eaten. Now, the question asked us for 100 tigers. So this is an even case. In this case, it will not be eaten. And the reason is when it was, when it'd be 99 tigers and one sheep, the sheep would be eaten. But the moment it's 100 tiger, they know it's again an even case, it would not be eaten. So the answer is no, it would not be eaten. And basically if you have to extrapolate this for n number of tigers, if n is odd, n is the number of tigers, if n is odd, then, and let's say there's just one sheep all the time, then, you know, it would be eaten, sheep would be eaten. And if it's even, it is not eaten. All right, so that's the answer to your question. Again, thanks for uh, listening to this problem. I hope uh, you got the right in the first time, but if you didn't, that's perfectly fine. Now you know the pattern, and you know in the next time when you try to attempt it, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be very quick. So thanks again for your time and attention. And so if you liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and also if you could share it amongst your social networks, that would be very appreciable. Thank you very much.